Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel. You're watching Uncle Roundy's Magic Club for cool people. And if you're watching, then yeah, that means you. Thank you for watching. Today we've got Core 2021 coming at you. Um, I think I'm going to hold off getting any more stuff until I can get around to my LGS and uh, maybe get something a little more interesting. Uh, Target is kind of uh, weak on the selection lately, so I think I'm going to hold off until... Either they can get something more interesting or I can get around to my LGS, whichever comes first. But as it is today, we have a Core 2021 pack. Uh, that is what I decided to pick up. And so we're going to open it here today. We are doing pretty good on pulls lately. I think we're actually due for kind of a crap hit. Uh, I think it has been the last four videos in a row. We've either pulled a Mythic or a Rare that was worth at least four dollars so we're doing pretty good uh we're doing pretty good and i have a feeling we're due to come down any minute now we've got a five five demon token with flying here the token is in the front so i'm going to go ahead and situate these uh i think the next is the land yeah we've got our uh, forest here so that means after the land we should have our rare which means we're going to want to move it to the back and move the three uncommons in front of it to preserve rarity order and maintain proper suspense. So here we go. We've got a shock. That is a shocking turn of events right there. Uh, what's less shocking is that my camera can't seem to focus on it. And I will, I think that's part of what I'm going to do also is take a minute to uh, just kind of retool this whole little segment, fix the focus issues, get some more interesting cards, and maybe even throw in a few sound drops so that I don't have to kill your ears if I get something exciting. Uh, we'll try to we'll try to make this a little more of a professional production here. But first up is Shock. Second, we got Sabertooth Mauler. Uh, wait, I have something upside down. Oh, it's that forest. I kind of put my forest upside down. I was like, did I miss one? No, I didn't. Sabertooth Mauler. Uh, at the beginning of your instep, if a creature died this turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on Sabertooth Mauler and untap it. Not too bad. For a green Timmy common. I kind of like that. Looks like we've got a uh, showcase here. Showcase border. Teferi's Protege. A 2-3 human wizard. Blue. And for blue plus one and tap. You can draw a card. And then discard a card. we got the nice little uh, old style. Looks to me like. Kind of reminds me of the old style. Like blue borders on like Urza Saga type era cards. I think that may be what it's supposed to be evoking there. Grasp of Darkness. Target creature gets minus four, minus four until end of turn. Wow, wow, wow. Rise again. Another black. Black plus four sorcery. Return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, just returns it straight up to the battlefield. That's why that's why that's probably so expensive a sorcery. Got, got good old-fashioned Portcullis Vine here. A little story about Portcullis Vine. One of the stupidest things that's ever happened to me in a game of Magic was when... This was a few weeks ago. When my coworker countered my portcullis vine with a mental misstep, I was like, "Are you sure that's what you want to use that on?" Uh, look up mental misstep if if uh, you don't know what that is, and you'll see why it was so stupid to counter this with it. Uh, trust me, though, it's a funny joke if you know what I'm talking about. Concordia Pegasus, a one-three French vanilla with flying. Uh, camera's having trouble focusing on it, but it's not really worth focusing on. So there, got your bone pit brute. When Brome Pit enters the Bird of Fur, target creature gets plus four, plus zero until end of turn. That's quite a big hit, but, you know. Wow, there are a, it feels like there's a ton of comments in this pack. Are we just only now reaching the last one or something? This Merfolk Wizard here, I kind of want to get to the... Good grief! I, they, I swear, I swear, there I haven't been counting. I have not been counting. By the way, uh... He's a good boy. We love him. He's a good boy. Uh, I swear. Feels like feels like I just keep getting common after common after common. I know there's 10 commons in the pack, and I haven't been keeping count, but it feels like I'm on, like, common number 12. Like, this pack is just dry. Finally, we're on the uncommons. Felt like it was just dragging its way to the to even just the uncommon slot there. Archfiend's Vessel. One black, a 1-1 one, one human cleric with lifelink. When it enters the battlefield, if it entered from your graveyard... Or if you cast it from your graveyard, exile it. If you do create, oh, oh, what's that? A 5-5 five, five black demon creature token with flying? Uh, 
the synergy. I can't believe it. That's, wow. Look at that. Birds of a feather. Or demons of a feather. Or something like that. Flocking together from outside. Okay, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here. Sanctum of Shattered Heights. This is an enchantment cycle they had in Core 21. Which is completely unexciting and not worth talking about whatsoever. So we're going to move on to Malefic Scythe. God, I think I've got like a zillion of these. Black plus one equipment. Malefic Scythe enters the battlefield with a soul counter on it. Yeah, it's it's a pretty cool piece of equipment, but I have like nine million of these. That's going to bring us to our rare for the day, which is Idol of Endurance. A white plus two artifact. When Idol of Endurance enters the battlefield, exile all creature cards with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard until Idol of Endurance leaves the battlefield. And for white plus one and tap until end of turn, you may cast a creature spell from among the cards exiled with Idol of Endurance without paying its mana cost. Well, you paid two. You're paying two to cast something that was three or less. Huh. I don't know about this. This seems shaky. I feel like I feel like the without paying its mana cost is supposed to be exciting. But it's like and you like you may cast a creature spell, not any number of creature spells. Here's the bulk rare I think we were looking for. <laughs> this is the this is the come down right here. Uh, I don't think this looks like that great a card, honestly. Let me make sure I'm reading that properly. When Idol of Endurance enters the battlefield, exile all creature cards with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard. From your graveyard, okay, until an Idol of Endurance leaves the battlefield. And you may... So yeah, for two mana... Yeah, for two mana you get to cast an exiled creature spell. So you're not really getting it for free. And if you're and if you're casting something with an with a mana cost of one, you're actually paying a little more for it than it actually costs. Although you're getting to uh although you're getting to do it from exile, so I guess that's the that's the trade off there. Well, that's core 2021 for you. I think we were due for something like this. You couldn't just have endless bangers going here, but uh, I kind of like Archfiend's Vessel better, actually, if it entered from your graveyard or if you cast it from your graveyard, which is really easy to do for one mana. Archfiend's Vessel is probably the neatest card in this pack to me. Sometimes that happens, especially in core sets. The uncommons can be uh, quite fun and have a lot of really cool flavor. Which, uh, okay, yeah, Archfiend's Vessel, probably my favorite card in that pack. Especially since I got the Demon to go with it. There it is, the 5-5 five, five Demon token with flying. There you have it. That is that pack for today. Join us next time. I'm going to try to get around to my local game store and get something a little more exciting than a Core 2021 pack. Maybe a Core 2020 pack? <laughs> Who knows? Just kidding. I'll make it more exciting than that.